Hello everyone, today we are back for part 2 of the Star Wars tutorial series where I'm going to teach you how to make this scene. So, uh, in the first part we saw how to make the blasters and in this part we'll be taking a look at how to put all the spaceships together in one scene and how to animate them. So, let's go. Once you're on Blender, uh, I'm going to first import my x-wing oh, okay so now that i've got this you can see i have my uh, x-wing i'm gonna bring in the star destroyer and now that i've got the star destroyer you can notice there's a little problem is that i can't see the end so i'll fix that just click on here and then on the view you have this clip start and end and i'm just gonna I can see the end of it yeah done so now uh, that we have the main elements I'm gonna go ahead and add a planet and awesome now I've imported the planet so that's earth here I have the star destroyer and here I have the x-wing so first of all I'm gonna go ahead and put a collection that I'm gonna name uh, stuff and I'm gonna put all the stuff I don't want to see. So we have both the store destroyer and the planet. So for that, you just hit uh, select here sheet, this, and just put it into stuff. Do the same for this, select here sheet, and into stuff. Boom. So now we can actually focus on the X one. So for the animation, uh, before we start, you know. Uh, making it go forward we can add some movements so how do you do that very easy so let's make the animation I would say something like yeah a hundred frames long that will do and then you can add one creature frame right here and then you go to the end and just make a new one and that's really important because then you can drag this up here like that then go to graph editor uh, hit a to select all the keyframes and now look if we go here you have the different keys so we're gonna go on the rotations which are these and now you can notice if we click here you have modifiers and then you can add a noise one so before make sure you are on uh, let's say the X axis, so then it's going to be on this red X. So you just add a noise node, and now you can see it's moving like that. That's cool, but that's not really what we want, it's a bit too much. So, how do you fix that? You just put a higher value here. Perfect, so now you can see it's a lot smoother, but it's too much. So, to bring it down, just put something like 0.1. And now you can see it's really slight, slightly moving, but that really, you know, really makes it move. So let's add uh, maybe a, even less 0.05. Yeah, that seems good to me. And once you've done that, you just go ahead and click here to copy what you've done. And let's go on the Y axis and paste it. So now it's moving on both X axis and uh, Y axis. But to make it a bit more realistic, you can just go up uh, here to the offset and just set it some random value. And now you can see it's like really moving. So yeah, now we've got the spaceship moving on its own. Now that we've done this, we can go ahead and turn our stuff back and we can actually start doing the real animation. So we're gonna go ahead and select this keyframe. I'm gonna make, I don't know, animate the X-Wing going like this. So he'll start here. And then I'm gonna make it end when it gets about, um, let's say right here. But as you can tell, you can't really notice. So what you can do to track the object is you go up here to view. Uh, and then you go into align view and you select align view to uh, yeah view lock to active it's right here so 
you yeah and now as you can see we're following the x-wing so now we can just go ahead and add a camera so we're gonna go here camera and we're gonna just go in there okay perfect and now we can just zoom in so then you just add a keyframe it's gonna go let's say to this point then you want to go ahead and move your camera so you just change that to 810 and as you can tell we get you know the cinematic, cinematic aspect ratio so let's change it to 16 now it starts here yeah so you can tell we've got our animation cool but it looks you know it looks a bit too slow so let's add like the same way we did with the spaceship some movements so you just go to graph editor then once you've done that you go down here we do the same thing so let's start with the um, y rotation so let's paste what you've done and see you can tell there's already more movement so let's put this to 0.1 okay and now we wanted to do the same but on the x-axis so let's paste that on here to make it look like it's going even faster what you can do it's a bit of cheating but you can still do this just select our star destroyer uh where is it yeah right here you add a keyframe to it let's say right here and then the more it goes towards it the more you can bring it back just like so so see yeah like this and now when we look at the footage it actually looks like it's going way faster when in fact it's just moving backwards the first thing you'll notice is that we can see the edge but how is that because when we're on the viewport we can see it the only thing you want to do is go onto your camera then go on the options and you'll have right here uh if you put this foot where it says n you just move that forward and boom now we can see everything fixed so now we've got our basic animation and what you can also do is just add some more of those so how do you do that well just you know shift d and the only thing you're gonna do is just move them somewhere else i don't know like here yeah that that will do then when it gets here you just move it even more forward like so so now on the camera it actually looks like there's another one you can also rotate it a bit like so i don't know yeah that will do so now when you look at the clip see boom it gets in the shot and you have two of them and so yeah that was it i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys next week for uh, the third and final part so till then have a good one